Fights keep on rolling here at BC MMA 20, the Cage Warriors Academy Southeast. As we have Charlotte McIntyre, 2-0 and at a Richmond MMA in the blue corner. The camo scramble attire as she's taking on Cindy Ferrara out of Platinum Hybrid in France. 145-pound featherweight title up for grabs. Both of the girls coming out pretty aggressive. Again, we got a, there's a little bit of reach and a little bit of length coming in from Charlotte McIntyre in the blue corner. She started out smart using that jab to accentuate that reach. Nice high kick to straight left. Cindy. Doesn't look too plus though at the moment. Doesn't look too worried or frustrated. Now both of them just kind of trying to find their range still. Figure out exactly where it is they fit. Low kick thrown by Cindy Ferrara there. They continue to move and jockey around. Looking for distance. McIntyre throwing those tentative head kicks out every every now and then. The crowd's screaming for her to throw that jab out there, and I would say the same thing. She has the, the reach advantage. She might as well take advantage of that. Again, neither of these ladies have tasted defeat before. Nice level change there. Oh, beautiful double. Under the hips, takes her up, throws her, lands nicely in the side control, and you can almost hear the crowd yelling knee to the body. No, I think that's just your inner monologue. Damn it. She's working, though, to the crucifix yeah, position. trying to crucifix that arm. Which she has now locked in. Now it's just a matter of... That's got to be just one of the most soul-destroyingly awful places to be, knowing your arm's trapped and you can't get it out. Yeah. When it's deep, she's only at the wrist. When it's deep around the tricep area and bicep, and if the person that's doing to you extends your forearm so you're flat on your back, it's hell. There's no other way to describe it other than hell. And especially pro, because you know you're going to get elbowed just to eternity. Charlotte McIntyre working well from the top, just trying to get those shoulders down, maybe tying up that second wrist so she can start hammering in. But Cindy's smart. She's trying to belly out, which is what you need to do in this position. And she's trying to work that hand. What she needs to do is bring that wrist down and really work it to where she can get it hey, to Hey, look, we've out. seen some really quick stoppages tonight, and I know not a lot of those are getting through. It's top of the head. That they're still landing. The referee is taking a close look. Is there any chance he's going to stop? And he did. Oh, no, that was the bell. I didn't hear it. That was the end of the round. Oh, good God. I thought it was over. So did I. Wow. Woohoo. Going to a third. Second. Surely, wasn't that the, was that the first? That was the first. Oh, my God. I've enjoyed that three minutes then very much. It was good. I, I, McIntyre was smart. Once she got on top, she isolated that arm. She was able to do what she wanted to. The one leg kick landed. One. Take okay. a look at that thigh. Oh, I know. It's destroyed. That's one. Yeah. One. One shot. Exactly. Now, the key behind it for me is it, it, from over in Cindy's corner, I'm telling her, look, let's throw those leg kicks. Let's be aggressive standing. Let's watch that takedown. If I'm over in McIntyre's corner, I'm just telling her, let's hit that jab, set up that double leg, take her down again, but this time take her down by your damn corner. McIntyre, smile on her face, looking like she's having fun. Ferrara in the middle of the cage, and again another leg kick. And I would suggest there may be a power difference between the two as well. Yeah, I would think so. Deep in on that single leg, she's got it to the ground. She's got to pop her head through. There's nothing really holding her head. It's just her putting it there. Pop just through. needs to posture up. Actually, I, I would Step say pause through and then go over to the other side, but she chose to be in 
half guard. Now, is she looking perhaps for the... Is she looking to try and transition to the head and arm? Yeah, she's looking for it. Now, you can finish it. I've seen it finish from that side of half guard, but you have to be underneath the chin with her arm. And Sydney's doing a great job of blocking that with her arm to try to elevate it up. It's not even answer the phone. It's more like hang the damn phone up. That's what she's doing. <laughs> so what Charlotte needs to do at the moment, step over into the she mount can, and then scoot She the can slide side. right in the mount. Yeah. It's right there for her to do. She's stopping herself from doing it because she's not making that effort. As it is now, Cindy's not holding in her place. So she can just slide it straight out. She needs to elevate the leg like she's doing right there and then just make her leg go straight. She's got it cupped so it's hooked. If she makes it go straight, she can slide it straight out over and she's in the mount. And of course, the, the more Cindy kind of gets herself to the cage, makes it harder for Charlotte to pass over that side to... Exactly. And what it allows for her to do is use that cage to actually block anything that would happen as far as even the mount. I mean, this has just been relentlessly slow, but it's got to the point that she wants now. Yeah, she's finally gotten to mount... She's a little bit high, oh. and Cindy's smart because Cindy instantly felt that she was high and is now trying to buck her off and get her off to that position. But McIntyre, fair play to her, works hard to get the hooks in and stays on the back, goes for a little ride, and now she got both in, yeah. looking to flatten her opponent out. But she's got her hands are trapped underneath. Here's the, here's the problem. She needs to get one of those hands out at least. Free that right hand and just start pounding, right? Underneath the... Surely you go underneath the arm there sometimes. Yeah, but see, as she has this now, Cindy's looking really close to being oh, stopped. No, and the referee stepped in, and there it is. Your new featherweight champion. 100. Charlotte McIntyre, 3-0, and is your new BCMMA Cage Warriors Academy Southeast featherweight champion. And looked good earning it. And our new female 145 pound cage warrior Southeast champion is in the blue corner, Charlotte McIntyre.